Hello again. Thank you for being here. It's because of you why my channel is growing at a lovely steady pace and I'm really, really grateful for that. So I take my multimeter and I turn the dial switch at the front to this setting. And then we've got the multimeters positive and negative probes. The black probe is the negative probe and for this particular test the negative probe's plug must be plugged in to the socket that says COM. And then for the red probe which is the positive its plug must be plugged into this socket. This stands for volts, ohms and milliamps. Within the multimeter is a small battery and on the continuity setting this battery sends out a small current out of the multimeter through the negative probe wire. And if we now touch the negative and positive probes together we get this buzzing noise. And so why is that? Well, when the two probes are touching electrons can flow out of the comms socket through the negative wire and out of the negative probe into the positive probe, down the positive wire and into the positive socket where the multimeter picks up the electron flow and the buzzer that's built into the multimeter activates. And it's this continuous unbroken flow of current that's known as continuity. So needless to say, when the two probes separate, even though there's an attempt by the battery to send current up through the negative wire, then it's not going to go down the positive wire and it's not going to enter the positive socket. And so of course, there is break in the current and no continuity and no buzzer will sound. But if we take the positive and negative probes and we touch them on each end of a chunk of metal, like an engine block, then we're going to complete that electron flow circuit again out of the negative probe, through the engine block, into the positive probe and back into the multimeter where the buzzer will sound. And now we're back to having an unbroken electron flow through the system. And so in essence we've used the engine block to gain continuity of the current once again.